did a really bad job of applying my lipstick today, but my nose highlight is popping, so... <laughs> Geeks, happy Friday! Gross and raining today, so excuse my hair because it doesn't know what it wants to do. But because it's so gross and rainy, I'm kind of just thinking about vacations, I guess. And I'm not talking about, like, grand trips to Hawaii or... I was gonna say to London, but like London's not gonna be any better <laughs> than the weather is here in BC. But lately I've been discussing a lot of road trip ideas for the summer with my boyfriend and my family and my friends, and I am apparently gonna be doing a lot of traveling and going a lot of places in a car. I love road trips, they're one of my favorite things. Family has some family friends that we visit like once or twice a summer that are three or four hours away, and I'm just like, I got this. Extra clothes? Check. Coffee? Check. Cartoons? Check. Map? Check. Convenience store snacks? Check. I am prepared. I am a good person to go on a road trip with. But because I'm starting to think about all these things, now I'm like, damn it, I need to write a contemporary about a road trip. But I'm going to be letting the idea of all these road trips inspire me and my writing the next little while, especially since in a couple of weeks I'm actually going on one of these mini road trip vacations and I have a plan that in that cabin I'm going to write a lot of stuff and half of it is going to be road trip related. So when you yourself are going to be writing any kind of road trip book, think about some of your favorite parts of a road trip. You want to have your characters blasting music with the, all the windows down, having the, the whoosh of the wind and like the music bump in, have them all dancing regardless of what seat they're all in. You can write about them having to stop at a convenience store at 3 a.m. and how there's nobody on the road and then single solitary people at this gas station buying chips and coke. You could have a cool scene of them driving through the middle of nowhere where it's all misty and you can't see the highway a couple of feet in front of you. You could have a conflicting scene where they're all fighting in the car and they realize that they still have four hours to go and there is no way to escape each other. You can write about one of my favorite parts which is those little stops. Not necessarily truck stops but like little picnic areas or rest stops on the side of highways so that when you've been driving for four hours and you A really need to pee and B just like need to get out of a car because you've been sitting for so long. You get out and you stretch and there's usually like picnic tables or something like I love those little places because to me those places like don't exist in time. I know that sounds very strange and very weird but it's kind of like you can spend forever there and like it feels like no time's gone by and or you can be there and it feels like it's just so removed from the world because usually it's just off a highway so there's like no other places around or like housing or anything it's just these like, little isolated spots and I just think that that's a really cool feeling so I'm definitely gonna write one of those. You could turn this into a horror novel and have them like get picked off one by one or you could have like a fun summertime contemporary about like bonding experiences and family. Remember the small pieces of your experience not just the like wow you know my butt hurts from sitting in this seat for three hours. Like think about the little things about the time that you're blasting music and you're singing along or those little road stops or even just the way that rain hits the road or the scenery of where you're going, how that makes you feel. You know, like reflect on that. There's your homework for the weekend. Make sure to join us on Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time for our live chat. This month we are doing all write-ins, so I hope to see you guys with your work all there.